。好嚟到二零一三年 Paper One B 第一条题目就有关于神经系统嘅，咁系一个 matching 嘅题目啦。左手边 column one 咧就系脑嘅唔同部分，而 column two 就系有关于脑嘅唔同部分，当佢受损坏嘅时候啦，咁究竟会有啲咩嘅后果呢 a 就讲啦，受损嘅时候咧就令到你做唔到决定，受损嘅时候咧就令你失去身体平衡，受损嘅时候咧就令你唔能够控制到呼吸速度，同埋受损嘅时候咧就令你冇咗个退缩嘅反射动作。咁呢个题目呢，就係两谁最鍾意嘅题型啦，就係、是、睇病學 b i o disease approach 啦。咁啊，题目佢唔会直接问你个脑究竟有啲咩嘅功能，而係问你当个脑嘅唔同部分受损嘅时候，究竟会有啲咩嘅结果。咁而家再一击破啦，小脑咧当受损嘅时候咧，其实你就系会失去咗身体平衡，因为小脑嘅功能咧就系协调肌肉嘅动作，佢唔系讲紧一啲大嘅肌肉活动，例如我哋嘅 bicep、tricep 个手臂拉翻嚟或者伸直嘅手臂，而系讲紧啦，我哋唔同肌肉之间嘅配搭，即系当你行紧路嘅时候，你嘅手臂会点样喐啦，你嘅脚会点样喐啦，又或者当我哋揸住支笔写字嘅时候啦，我哋每一只手指嘅喐动啊，我哋个手。碗啊，我哋个手臂啊，点样做到个调控咧？呢、这个就系小脑做嘅嘢啦。第二啦，麦兜啦 ，up long gata， 当我哋受损嘅时候咧，就唔能够控制到呼吸嘅速度啦。咁呢个亦都好典型啦。盐水嘅作用，除咗作为脑嘅反射中心去吞嘢啊、分泌口水之外咧，亦都系控制不随意动作，例如呼吸心跳啦。呢一 part 咧，我哋喺 elective one human physiology 人体生理学咧系有学到嘅。而当大脑受损嘅时候咧，我哋个人就会唔能够作出一个决定啦。咁点解啊？咁啊，因为大脑啦，第一佢就系同智力有关嘅一个位置啦，佢系将唔同嘅知识啊、记忆啊收埋响树，兼且亦都有一个联系嘅。呢、这个就系我哋嘅 association area， 就将唔同嘅信息咧去综合起上嚟嘅。例如啦，我哋听到门钟声叮当，咁如果我哋大脑系冇受损嘅话，我哋系会将叮当呢个声咧就同门钟。就同有人叫我哋係有一个联系，從而我就会开门俾佢。但如果我哋个 association area 係出咗事嘅话呢，咁就弊家咧啦。我听到叮当，可能呢我哋个耳仔係冇问题嘅，感觉神经元都冇问题嘅，神经脉冲都传到去我哋个脑嗰处嘅。但系问题就係话，叮当究竟係咩意思呢？我完全谂唔到，我都唔识嘅，咁我个脑亦都唔识做决定去开门俾你啦。咁剩低返啲呢，就係讲緊啦，当呢个部分受损嘅时候呢，就会做唔到退缩反应。咁應該係我哋嘅 spinal cord 受損啊，係我哋嘅脊髓啦。咁脊髓除咗將我哋個腦同埋身體其他部分有一個連結，有一個神經脈衝嘅接力之外呢，都係作為一個驅趕手臂嘅反射中心，亦即係我哋手臂嘅退縮反射，同埋我哋個膝頭哥嘅失弱反射啦。當然啦，有人截你嘅時候，咪就係你個驅趕囉，俾人截你條腰，你會縮開㗎嘛。呢、這個都係反射動作嚟嘅。呢、這個題目仲有啲咩嘅變奏呢？就係、是、直接抽擊啦。就系、是、问你其他中枢神经系统嘅功用啦。第一、第二啦，今次冇问 spinal cord， 下次咪问 spinal cord 咯。问下失弱反应、退缩反应，究竟个神经脉冲系点样走噶？啊，点样由个 receptor 去 detect 到一个刺激之后啦，就就产生一个神经脉冲，顺住我哋嘅 dorsal root of the spinal cord 就入到去个 grey matter 入面，跟住再点样接驳到去到 motor neuron 去，再将呢个神经脉冲传到去你个 bicep 你个二头肌。当二头肌接触到神经经脉冲嘅时候就收缩，将你个手臂咧就拉咗翻嚟啦。呢啲问法就最典型噶啦，或者第三款变奏咧都系 disease approach 啦，就系讲紧唔同神经元或者唔同神经嘅系统部分啦。当佢受损嘅时候又有咩嘅后果咧？咁其实两 Sir 之前已经拍咗段片，就系有关于咧神经系统受损嘅时候，究竟嗰个人系会有啲咩嘅反应咧？无论系随意动作定系不随意动作，究竟佢做唔做得到咧？如果未睇嘅咧，快快睇翻佢啦。一點出發嘅時候啦，咁好又嚟到一點出發嘅時候啦。今次咧就問神經系統，主要就問翻中枢神經系統同埋佢哋嘅功能啦。下次可能就會問你啦，外圍嘅神經系統有咩用啦？尤其是會問翻你唔同類型嘅神經元，例如我哋嘅感覺神經元同埋運動神經元。佢哋係接驳住啲乜嘢嘅呢？究竟唔同嘅神经元佢有咩嘅功能呢？佢接驳住啲乜嘢嘅地方呢？哦，原来 sensory neuron 感觉神经元係接驳住感受器 receptor 嘅呢啲嘢，你有冇溫到呢？
，而运动神经元呢，就系接驳住我哋嘅效应器。你计可能嗰个神经元入面啊，咩 action 长啲啊，定系 dendron 长啲咧，都可以问你噶、哦。呢、这个题目呢，亦都系 disease approach 啦，睇病学拜屙嘛，咁所以啦，佢会俾个病你，从而就问下你啦，而又会问下你啦，呢、这个人嘅感受啦，或者佢反应啊，会有啲咩嘅变化呢？咁呢一条题目啦，又系一个好典型嘅 disease approach 啦。研究显示，滥用药物就会损害神经系统，导致到讲唔到嘢、口齿不清同埋记忆力受损。咁究竟咧係我哋個腦嘅邊一個部分受損呢？嗱，其實 P Q R 呢都係講緊我哋嘅大腦、小腦同埋鹽水啫嘛。咁記緊之前兩歲都教過你啦，做呢啲 M C 呢，做做 labeling 先啦，咁啊包冇死㗎啦。咁你衰咩呀？咁一定係衰大腦同埋小腦啦。咁由於啦，我哋嘅大腦呢係有一個 association area， 就將唔同嘅信息做一個連接、聯繫同埋一個思考嘅，亦都有記憶嘅部分啦。大腦呢就係其中一個受損嘅部分。而口齒不清啊，點解又關小腦事呢？咁小腦頭先我哋都講過啦，小腦呢就係協調肌肉嘅動作嘅。而當我哋講嘢嘅時候呢，其實我哋係需要用到我哋嘅面部肌肉啦、口部肌肉啦、口唇啦，同埋我哋條脷嘅。最簡單條脷呢，其實係有八嚿肌肉嘅，你信唔信啊？我哋個嘴唇呢，最基本都有四條肌肉去拉扯住嘅。咁你諗下，你而家講緊嘢，或者兩歲而家講緊嘢嘅時候，係用咗幾多款嘅肌肉去控制住呢？記緊啦，善用一點出發，俾你知道啦。當由一個概念出發嘅時候，究竟可以引申到其他咩嘅概念？理溫舊書未呢 t w o one three paper one question one is about the nervous system. It's a type of matching question. Column one is different parts of the brain: cerebellum, medulla oblongata, and cerebrum. And the column two is talking about when there is a damage of the certain part. So what is the consequence? Inability to make decision, loss of body balance, loss of control of breathing rate, and loss of withdrawal reflex. This question is my favorite question type. Disease approach question. Question is not asking the function of the brain directly, but it requires you to recall the function of the brain. But you need to recall the function of the brain. Based on the particular consequence, so let's take a look one by one. If there is a damage of cerebellum, you will cause the loss of the body balance because the cerebellum is responsible for coordinating muscle movements, for maintaining body balance when we move. When we are walking, of course, we shall use our leg muscles. Meanwhile, we also need to control our upper body part. To maintain the body balance, so that when we are walking, our limbs are also in the movement. Because the cerebellum is coordinating the muscles of our forelimb, that means our arms and also our legs, to make sure that we can stand or we can walk properly. And the other example, when we are writing, so we use our finger to grab the pen and then we move. So that's why we need to coordinate the fingers, muscle, our forelimb and even our shoulder to make sure that we can write. Properly, and for medulla oblongata, if it is damaged, so we cannot control the breathing rate because medulla oblongata is not only the reflex center but also controls other involuntary actions, for example, breathing and heartbeat. So we also learn this concept in the elective one, human physiology. And what if cerebrum is damaged? Because cerebrum is related to the site of intelligence, and it also controls the voluntary action, particularly for the association area. It integrates information from different sensory areas. For example, when we hear the ring bell, ding dong. So if our association area it can function well, so we can recognize that ding dong. It means someone ring the bell, and then I need to open the door for him or for her. But what if the cerebrum is damaged? I cannot integrate, realize the meaning of ding dong, and then open the door. I can. What about option D? It should be the spinal cord damaged because the spinal cord is also the reflex center for many reflex action involving the trunk and limbs. A classical example is the withdrawal reflex. The other example we learn in the textbook is the knee jerk reflex. So any possible question variation. This time we use the disease approach to ask about the function of the brain. 
But maybe next time it asks you to state the function of different parts of the CNS directly. Or what is the function of the cerebrum? What is the function of the modular oblongata? You need to talk about it. And for the second one, state the function of spinal cord, not only to relay the nerve impulse between the brain and other parts of the body. For example, it may ask you about the reflex action. Withdrawal reflex, knee reflex. So, what about the hand? It touches a sharp object. So, the pain receptor they are stimulated and generate the nerve impulse, and the nerve impulse will travel along the sensory neuron to the dorsal root of the spinal cord, and then go to the gray matter in the middle. And then, by using the interneuron, the nerve impulse is transmitted to the motor neuron through the ventral root to the bicep. And once the bicep is stimulated by the nerve impulse, the bicep will contract and then withdraw the arm. So that's the whole story you need to recall. And for the third one is the consequence of different types of damage in neurons or parts of the nervous system. So what will happen? So you can recall the concept from this video. What will happen if the nervous system is damage. I include all the cases in the CNS damage and tell you what will happen. Let's talk about the curriculum mapping. This question starts from the nervous system and it asks you the CNS and also the function. So maybe next time it asks you the peripheral nervous system. This part is related to different neurons, especially sensory neuron and the motor neuron. And you also need to recall for example, the sensory neuron is connected to the receptor, the motor neuron is connected to the effector. And for the disease approach, it can also ask you the sensation and the response of the body. So I would like to show you another typical question. Research has shown that the drugs abuse cause damage to the nervous system leading to speech disorder and memory degeneration. So which part of the nervous system, particularly in this part, is the brain? So below are likely to be damaged. So you can see that it should be the cerebrum and the cerebellum. For the cerebrum, we can recall the association area is related to the memory degeneration. And for Q, cerebellum, I mentioned that cerebellum is related to the coordination of muscle movement. So what about for the speech disorder? It means that actually when we are talking, when we are speaking, so we need to use the muscle of our mouth, our lips, our face, and our tongue. For example, in our tongue, there are eight muscles already. And if we would like to control our lips to move, there are four muscles already. So you can see that when we are speaking, we need a lot of coordination. <music>